Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here in NTW3 once again and for you NTW3 enthusiasts, oh boy do we have a glorious, glorious battle here for you today and it's another historical one, as you might be able to tell, it is the Battle of Baile that took place in 1808 between the Spanish and the French empires and oh boy is this a glorious fight. In history, the Spanish actually did win this one. They actually managed to surround and capitulate an entire French army. And uh, it was one of the more costly defeats for the Spanish, in, oh sorry, for the French in the uh, in the Peninsula War, that is for sure. A very unusual uh, result as well, since the French have been just kind of annihilating the Spanish armies. Uh, and taking great um, swathes of land in Spain. But uh, yes, Byland does kind of change the balance of power a little bit in this war and uh, puts the Spanish very much back in the fight. But we'll see whether the Spanish can win it here again today. It'll be interesting to see. We have got uh, four Spanish armies against four French. We did actually cover this uh, battle in a uh, stream quite recently and it certainly was a fun one to, uh, to play with uh, some subs. And uh, yeah, if you want to get involved in any sort of like uh, scenarios you're like, I want to get involved with these historical battles that you do, Pope, feel free to join the Discord, the link is down below in the description. As always guys, you're more than welcome to join. French infantry get set up here, we've got artillery already firing as well. Good to hear that the, uh, seems like the, the sound's sort of working a little bit more. Whether that will last, I don't know. Um, we'll see. I have, someone was saying in a previous video to like uh, whack it all the way up, to, uh, like the sound settings all the way up to max. I, I do that as always um, for NTW3, so I don't know why. Uh, I don't know whether it's just the file patch still, or whether it's still an issue, I don't know. But here we go. Yeah, the musket sounds as well, which is glorious. Got the uh, skirmishes over here, the Compagnies Sultas. Uh, they are having a bit of a shoot here. I also learned how to pronounce the name uh, when we in stream. I, I was calling it Balin, or something like that. It's just like... Uh, We'll see the anger side. It's got like the uh, the accent. Bylen. Battle of Bylen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God, this poor skirmish just went flying there. Very, very nasty. What's cavalry we got over here for the French? We actually have a guard, Chasseur Cheval. So it's a very, very nasty cav unit. The Spanish will have to uh, send up some of their own fine cav to, uh, to deal with that. What have they got over here? Well, these are just some. Uh, I mean, they do look. Damn well fine, look at that. Going into battle with a top hat on. Can't expect anything less than that. Uh, but it's not exactly the elite cab. It's going to be something. We've got some Dragoons back here. More Dragoons. Uh, Cavalleria. Uh, Alacantara. There's a lot of cab over on this side here. I was playing as this Spanish army over here. On this left hand side, I was playing as this Questa uh, core here. We actually have three Questas, I think. Uh, and then we have a... Uh, Coupigny, well, I think is how you say it. Um, yeah, we have a lot of uh, a lot of decent cab. I have my uh, like Bourbon cab down here. You know the uh, bo representing the Bourbon monarchy that has been ousted by Napoleon. And then we have some uh, uh, like elite uh, carabineers as well. So that, yeah, royal cavalry there, along with some other like lighter ones as well. But yeah, I, don't, I can't remember which uh, corps I was going against for the French. This artillery has actually been hit pretty nastily. Uh, and there you go, cannon sounds are all of a sudden just all all disappeared. So I don't know what it is. I really do not know. Um, but as you can see here, yeah, the uh, skirmishes, they're still doing well. You can still hear them gloriously. What infantry is setting up behind here as well? It looks like it's just a lot of French and Polish infantry here. You can tell you the Polish infantry from the uh, white... Uh, sorry, from the... Well, I guess white is involved, but white, yellow, and uh, blue uniforms. It's also like the hats that they wear. Wearing like this. Shaco, but well, some of the are so they're wearing the more oh, like traditional Polish hats. And there you go, the uh, the artillery they're taken out. It's actually, I think, taken out by skirmishers, a mix of skirmishers, and then that artillery strike as well. But I honestly thought my artillery was going to be final for that hill. It seemed that was not the case, but here we go, cavalry charge coming in. So a little light cab going in. That looks like it's going to deal with the uh, skirmishers here. Don't know why we can't hear the melee, uh, <laughs> the melee sounds for this fight, but that's equally weird. There you go, and then in comes the Chasseur Cheval, and they are going to probably route those uh, the Spanish camp very, very easy there for them. So yeah, well done to them. Had a, a little Spanish cab unit also go out here, some Lanceros, and they got taken out, it seems, quite easily by the uh, 
that cab here. So uh, that's unfortunate. I guess just scouting ahead, just trying to see what's there. And now it looks like we're going to see a counter charge by the uh, by the French. They're going to go in and try and take out the uh, the lights here of the uh, Spanish. And there you go. Yes, the uh, men are running for Chessers. I've done just exactly that. I've taken them out. The Spanish might be about to go for a counter charge themselves. So Sars are setting up here. And they might go in. But yes, if you're enjoying all things NTW3 and would like to see some more of it, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. It really does uh, mean a lot as we work towards 9k subs. As you can see here, we've the glorious musket sounds going on. Well, some of them anyway. And then over on this side here, it seems as though... Seems like they're being a lot more passive on this side of the French. I mean, they can barely be seen. The Spanish are in retreat, I think. Uh, the objective of this battle was to hold on to the, uh, the town of Bailen. Uh, so, as you, as you can see here, the Spanish set up around it. But they are very much stretched out across this map, uh, really to trying to defend this whole area. I mean, uh, I was pretty isolated. I was never going to get uh, back to my allies in time, I don't think. Um, and my allies are actually sending over infantry over here, which is good to see. Uh, while they have a uh, yeah, it's this quest to call here. It's like it's got a lot of uh, a lot of troops, a lot of militia troops. I went with a much more elite army. Uh, they could all like put, mostly form squares. But uh, yeah, you can see here this is just a spam of militia. Uh, these guys here, yeah, volunteers. They are not going to be doing too much in the way of killing stuff. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, like militia, provincial militia. Not stuff that can't form squares. It's gonna be very vulnerable to cavalry. That's for sure. Um, he has got there are some uh, vol volunteers of Catalonia here. They can form square. See what they can do. But uh, anyway, we'll go back over to this side now. See what is happening. I'm kind of covering my side. I feel like I'm get it, having more of the action. Maybe this uh, battle and uh, there's the one to my uh, my right as well. They seem like they're having a decent fight. Actually, a lot of the squareables uh, seem like they're here for the. Uh, Spanish army that's to my right. They're actually over here dealing with the cab, getting a few volleys off, not doing too much more than that. As you can see, the French are setting up. They're getting ready for a, uh, a charge by the looks of it. There's poles there getting set up, getting into a line fight for now. I do love the Vistula Legion, which is like the Polish infantry. They are goddamn awesome. Uh, like in looks and also just. Well, mainly looks, I guess, and also stats. They're pretty, actually, are pretty decent as well. They, like, I guess the closest you can get to guard uh, with these armies, these uh, Spanish armies, anyway. The infantry here it kind of varies in quality. A lot of uh, often these like uh, Peninsula campaign armies for the French often have a lot of foreign troops in them, including the Poles. The Poles are some of the more better, well-trained troops compared to uh, some of the German or um, like Swiss and Italian troops you can get. You've got my lights on the flank here. I mean, most of my infantry, like I was saying, can form squares. But like, I mean, there's like the Marines are like the only few units that can't. They are pretty damn good in other areas. I was trying to. The problem with this uh, Spanish Corps, a lot of troops can't. I uh, don't have great um, morale. So I was like, I want decent morale, which often did mean that my unit could form square as well, which is an added bonus. Um, but I, I kind of was coming into it knowing that I wouldn't be able to form square with everything. It's not like the British armies where just about everything can square. Including the cavalry. No, that's a joke. We can't, we can't do that. Uh, look at this. African infantry here. I guess they're just why they're in this long line. I do not know. Maybe just to try and scare off the French cav. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, we have had some uh, some volunteers here break. Is there, yeah. Why is this you know so isolated? Out of this Catalonia unit. I do not know. He needs to get back. Run, flee. Here we go, artillery. Uh, the silent artillery firing, but the, it is there. It's eight pounders. They're dueling with something back there. Uh, there is cavalry that they've been shooting at. Uh, it seems that they've got some decent shots, but nothing uh, too insane. There's a lot of cav over here as well, waiting patiently. Uh, we've got lots of light cav, dragoons. Uh, it looks like those casadores are the, uh, yeah, the light cav. 
some infantry retreating while others is going forward. I guess maybe they're sending their cheaper stuff forward first, maybe? I don't know. It's 160 man near the conform squad. That's pretty insane. Yeah, the French are coming forward now. Laguerre here, they're going to set up along with line infantry. Looks like these, uh, I think these guys here are actually Spanish infantry fighting for the French. I could be, I think they are looking at the shade. They're not quite blue. It's like a dark, like almost black uniform. And I think that's uh, the Spanish, like, uh, Bonaparte. It's, oh, the cav charge going in. Uh, what did they manage to take out? Ca a light cav. Both sides kind of traded. They were going for the uh, um, skirms then. Here come, yeah, the uh, French goons going in. Also, they routed the, uh, the Spanish artillery here. That is not good at all. Spanish desperately trying to fire onto them with their infantry here, doing some decent damage. The cavalry looks like it's going to get out of there just in time. Uh, France is obviously now flanking and going to try and do some damage to these infantry. They need to reset up and uh, get and get into a firing line, that is for sure. I mean, Spain with masks can usually overwhelm the French as Mary's going to try and get the flanks and do some damage there. What has got out here? Some infantry... Infantry Suiza? I, I feel like it's Swiss, but it's not. I mean, Suiza, I think that's just his name. Um, but yeah, they are setting up on that side. So on the right flank, it's now starting to get a little bit spicy. Uh, over on my side, still kind of... We're slowly pushing forward. We've kind of contained the French for now. Um, they, they marched, their like battle column that they had set up is uh, now kind of more to the left of my line. The Poles are obviously like going to be the ones to break through there. Counted as grenadiers. They are pretty damn nasty. Oh, we have a Curassia unit here as well. I didn't even realize this. That is going to be a nasty, nasty unit. Yeah, heavy cav in NTW3 is king. So it is obviously very vulnerable to be taken out. And here we go. Another cav charge going into Chasseur Cheval. Going in for these uh, skirms here. And then they go. And there you go. We can hear the charges again. Glorious. Shame they didn't set up those. Uh, well, I don't know who set these stakes up, actually. Skir uh, I don't think the skirm's good, but maybe they can. Maybe he's got some sap or somewhere, but uh, yeah, I think they're trying to break through into this artillery piece, which is sort of a very nice hill back here. Eight pounders here set up. Fire when ready. If it doesn't make the noise, I'll have to make it for it. Boom. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I don't know. It's just a shame we can't hear artillery noises. You know, it sounds so deafening. Who doesn't want to hear that? Um, as you can see, infantry to Spanish infantry units here. The Guardia Schamburger. The dueling with the, uh, the French here. Definitely outgunned. I don't know why they're taking this fight, to be honest. Definitely should not be taking that fight, if, uh, if possible. So more of this La Guardia Schamburger here set up. Dueling with the, uh, the French who got... French unit is actually looking the wrong way. There's a uh, Polish unit there. It's, yeah, just standing and looking the wrong side, the l wrong way. They need to uh, stop doing that. It looks like we're going to see a, a bit of a push up this hill here. They're going to go. Looks like we've got some Poles here and a, and a French infantry unit. They're getting all in column, ready to go up that hill. That's for sure. Interesting to see what they do. Legion Extranjera. Spanish Legion. Oh, they look pretty cool. They look fairly elite. They're actually doing some pretty serious damage to those poles. And here we go. In go the uh, Spanish. Uh, Lagardia Schamburger. They're going to go into melee. Against the poles. Not an easy fight for them. And in comes some uh, Dragoons here. And they are going to absolutely annihilate those Spanish. Yeah, that's how you, they, they kind of baited the uh, Polish unit there. And here we go. Char Bayonet charge is going in. Grenadier is going to knock aside these skirms, I imagine. In go the Cav. Some Hussars here are going to deal with those uh, skirms as well. Really, they need to get into the infantry back here. This is what's really going to cause serious damage. I think this is a uh, Grenadier unit by the looks of it. And there, yeah, there you go. Grenadier is getting very much surrounded. Taken out. I mean, it's kind of like what happens at the battle, actually, of Bailen in history. The uh, Spanish uh, Spanish surround the French, and that uh, Grenadier is certainly feeling surrounded. 
got some squares for me up here. As you can see, the uh, French have managed to turn the flank here of the uh, of the Spanish. Our men are running, sir. They've routed my grenadiers as well. Sad to see. Of Andalusia. These grenadiers of Andalusia. Just where I came beat on a holiday. Ah, very nice. But yeah, it does seem as though France is going to kind of regain the ground they lost. Uh, Spain kind of did their bit, but not like... Like, they weakened them, that's for sure. And they're going for a charge here. It's, uh, the French again into my Spanish square. I was trying to send my, uh, my cavalry in. But for some reason, it was like, no, we refuse to go in. And there they go. I should route that, uh, that uh, grenadier there pretty easily. Slice and dice them. Or maybe not. They'll actually look like they could rally. Uh, cavalry on the other side looks like it's going in for the, uh, the Spanish here. We've got some goons being committed against Curacias. Jeez, not an easy fight either of these cabins here. Chasseurs of the Guard and then Curacias as well. Yeah, not looking good there for the Spanish as we have uh, more light cab going in trying to pin down this cavalry. Yeah, lights against heavies. It's not going to be a fun fight there for the uh, for the French. So both the French cabins are going to get out there alive and it's cost the Spanish three cab units. Uh, at this point, I was desperately trying to send over more of my own. Uh, cavalry, I was like, well, look at the guys having to send over. Lanceros, not great. Uh, but the cavalry behind, we've got some uh, Dragoons as well. We're trying to do our best. Uh, let's see how it's going on the rest of the line. It seems like it's turning into a good old line fight, which is nice to see. Spanish and the uh, French trading volleys. And it looks like it's kind of going on along the along the front over here. Looks like we're going to see another cavalry charge here. though. two cav units going in. I wonder what they're going to go for here. Uh, so it looks like Square is going to get taken out. Infantry, well... Squares can get made, sorry, not taken out. Squares force that cavalry to uh, stop, and it looks like that infantry could not form squares. It's going to get sandwiched by its own cav and also the French dragoons there. There has been a general that's been killed off here, so a uh, general has been lost. It is Juan Haleg here of the Allegiant Action Jera. He's been uh, canistered, I think, in the face, and he has fallen. He's certainly been hit in the face by artillery pieces. I don't know where, I don't think it was canister, but he's just been hit in the face, and that's unlucky. Uh, to be honest, you, like a custom, uh, not a custom, a combat general like that, you don't often expect them just to, to die when, at high numbers anyway. And the French have lost, uh, sorry, have won that cab fight as well. They can oh, smash on through if they want to. Oof, I don't know, the artillery might have just saved the Spanish there, getting a good hit onto the French cab. And there's a light cab there, are going to finish them off. And here we go, bayonet charge onto squares from the French and the Spanish. They've got to try and hold on, I don't know if they can. Looks like they're going to fall back in pre uh, preparation and the French aren't going to allow it. Sending cab up, they're going to try and maybe slow down some of these units here. I think they can mostly form square, but it, you know, all it does is uh, it does help like slow these guys down. And these guys didn't form square, or maybe they did. The cab's kind of like rearing up, like it's, it makes it seem like it maybe did, uh, did form square. I'm not really sure. I think, uh, I think looking at who won, they did in fact form square. Um, this is a Spanish square if you hadn't, if you didn't work out. Uh, as you can see, very square-like. French here though, the Kings of good bayonet charges onto the Spanish. And once a couple of Spanish units break, it starts to cause a bit of a uh, domino effect. So they need to be careful they don't allow multiple units to break. I mean, two is not bad, but it certainly is uh, not a great start. And it makes it a little bit tougher. I don't know what this unit's doing. It's not going to get out of there alive, that's for sure now. The uh, French going in for a bayonet charge. There you go. Let's go back over to the other side here. Let's go and see what's going on. Uh, because the Spanish and the French still dueling it out over here. So uh, I did manage to take out uh, the the cuirassiers. I think they charged in. I formed square while also having some of my cab support. Bit of a risk. Uh, I think I lost my Lanceros though, which is nothing too exciting. It's not Our the end of the world. Running, but yeah, so as you can see here. We're just about holding on and starting to force our way forward. Another general has been killed. You're serious? I think this is one over here. Yeah, Antonio uh, de Malay de Compagnie. He's been shot, I think, by an artillery, uh, like, an artillery piece. And he's been killed. That's really unfortunate. I think they were maybe shooting at the uh, units in front, like the Zapadores and uh, these uh, infantry here. But, yeah, I think just went over and hit the general instead. That is unfortunate because uh, Spain already is in a rough spot when it comes to morale. They don't need to have no generals as well. Zapadori. I think they're also a grenadier unit. They're like a grenadier uh, unit. It's kind of cool. 
Like maybe grenadier lights or something? Or just simple grenadiers? I've got some grenades down here as well, Cantabria. And these are uh, volunteers from Valencia. Which looks like they've got some badass helmets going on, that's for sure. Another cap charge coming in by the looks of it, maybe. They could get staked here if they're not careful. Oh, another bayonet charge down the line here. French, well, it's not Frenchies, it's actually other Spaniards taking on uh, the Spanish uh, volunteers here. Brother fighting brother. Father against son. What is the peninsula brought to this part of the world? Yeah, brutal bayonet fight, actually. I look I could go either way, both sides could red line in. It looks like the Spanish, I mean look at this, what well, we've got so many Spanish units breaking here. Yeah, and that's putting the master out. And that might be the Spanish right finish, to be honest. It's even affecting units that aren't exactly next to them. Oh jeez, yeah, not looking good at all. Uh, Spanish right not looking so hot. How is the center looking? It's a very much multicolored look of uh, orange and green lines there and some red. Uh, we are very much clearing up the left, though. I am actually doing an okay job, to be honest, in dealing with these uh, units. I've taken a fair few casualties, but uh, my elite infantry uh, is actually kind of pulling off. I have uh, all these grenadiers, and uh, I've got my own Juan Heleg. Very much alive, though. Uh, he's not been canistered just yet. And we've got the grenadiers, like, from the marines. This unit was 51 man in size. It cost 50 ducats as well, 50 gold. So it's, like, almost one gold piece per man. And honestly, it's kind of the case with some of the Spanish units. They're very, very cheap, like 100 uh, gold. And you get like 100 plus men <laughs> as you're, uh, in your unit. So it kind of almost does work out like, like that. Maybe that's why they've got terrible morale. They need to be paid more. We've got Imperials de Toledo. Okay. Let's get a volley, boys. I don't, these guys don't look too well trained either. Like I said, Sp Spain kind of relies on that sort of like spam of uh, cheap stuff. And here we go, cab charge from Spain going in. He's going in with some Dragoons by the looks of it. Of Pavia, uh, looks like they can uh, form a square on these French infantry here. And they're going to stop those Dragoons in their track. They're going to disengage from that unit and go into another Spanish unit here. Oh, sorry, another French unit here. They look like I'll get them though. They'll route that unit. Will they be able to work their way down the next? Possibly. They're going to come out of that combat and going behind, cause some havoc in the back lines, potentially. They're not looking good on the uh, Spanish right here. Really, really not looking good. Looks like a uh, Spanish cab has one though, stopping some uh, French infantry charges. They're going to now try and go in and take a few more out. I mean, there's a lot of Spanish infantry down here. Jeez, fuck. <laughs> Okay, I think they kind of fired while in combat there. I feel like that's uh, a bit unfair. The Spanish cap here is winning decisively, though, apparently. It's routing. Routing, but winning decisively. Don't think that checks out. Yeah, Spain needs to just get out of here if he can. Uh, Cuesta is now actually the one that's kind of like being affected here as well. I don't know if he's still alive, Don uh, La Cuesta. I, don't think, I think he might be. But he needs to start getting his core back and maybe start marching back towards Bailen. Because the way he's marching right now, the French are, uh, well, cutting them off. And I actually seems like the French could encircle the Spanish. Instead of the Spanish encircling the French. Oh, how revenge is sweet. Oh, cab charge here, they're going in. It's a little Lancer unit. Dealing with them nicely. And we are, and we are slowly pushing back the uh, French here. They are actually doing a little bit of a counter charge there with their Dragoons here. They dealt with my grenadiers. Trying to go in, get these uh, the marine unit here. 30 man marine unit. Gotta go in and get these guns. They are set up, but uh, the carriage is in front of them. Strange one, that's for sure. Then they go. Now clash with the uh, artillery crew. Get them off their uh, artillery pieces. And yeah, both, bro well, the uh, artillery's broken, but the Marines will hold on, we'll see. Oh, don't know, it, it might not matter, because honestly, there's a uh, cavalry now coming in of the Spanish. 
is just flanked on around here, and then they should help mop up what remains of the uh, the friendship by the looks of it. And yeah, this looks like a success on this side for the Spanish. They've won this side, but doesn't look like they're going to win this uh, this flank. And Bailin, uh, or Bailen, sorry, not Bailin, Bailen is uh, very much undefended. As the French could just beeline for it right now and get there. Um, I don't know if they can get some of these infantry back. I don't know where the Quasar should try and retreat some of these guys back. I don't know what has happened here. Maybe he just knows that he's going to get outpaced and he just is not going to try and retreat. He's volunteers with uh, Ca Catalonia, Foreman Square, firing at everything around them. Got French Cav, infantry. It's not looking too hard for them, that's for sure. Quaster here, might as well try and get him back to uh, Might be able to get him back to Bailen. Abandon your men! Leave them to defend you. The French did a very good job. We've got some uh, Swiss Grenadiers here. Have yet to see any bayonet action by the looks of it. I don't know what this unit is. Maybe like a Carabineer or a uh, Grenadier unit of itself. And we've got some typical infantry here. They're doing their job, looking glorious as they do it. Fighting for Napoleon. Which obviously, very apt. You know, Napoleon's in at the moment because there's a new Ridley Scott film out for it. Or well, we're coming out, not yet out. I wish it was out. And I can't wait for it, that is for sure. Let me know in your thoughts on the Ridley Scott film. Are you like looking forward to that? I'd be interested to see. I don't think by then's going to be featuring it. I think uh, the film finishes just a bit before. Uh, like 1808, I think it's like finished at 1806, I think, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, so it's going to miss out this uh, glorious battle. I mean, it's not, I don't think Napoleon was at this one anyway. It was Dupont, who was uh, the leader of the French. Well, definitely Napoleon was not at it. I think they the result in history would have been a very different uh, scenario if, uh, if Napoleon was here. He would have probably ended up winning it rather than uh, being surrounded and having his army capitulated. Some Lanceros here. They take out the French? Don't know why they just stood right by them. I think maybe they expected the French to form squ square. It didn't. I don't think it's. I think it's because it's an actual Spanish infantry unit, not a French unit. They routed them pretty quickly. Very nicely done there. There's Lanceros, you know, just stabbing hacking out down the uh, the Frenchies. Very very nicely done. Artillery still alive here for the Spanish. You might want to try and get this back. Maybe try and get into a street around uh, Bailen and try and, I don't know, defend there. Make it a bit of a choke point. You know, trying to get out of here alive. It's four pounder. Not the quickest in the world. Got some grenadier, more marine grenadiers and some more grenadiers here, but this is a, oh, this is a, mar just a marine unit. Plenty of marines. Mind you guys at sea. But yeah, 100 man unit there. Still healthy. They've got some decent units actually still alive on this uh, on this flank here. And the center's still very much up for uh, grabs, I feel like, for the Spanish. But they can still hold on, potentially. They have lost their general, though, I think, at the center, so uh, it is vulnerable. And certainly if this, uh, this militia infantry here could be broken at any point really from a musket volley or just a random cab charge. Yeah, not looking good over here. I think this is uh, one of the quest uh, armies and also uh, Compagnie is out of it as well. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but that's what we're going with. Now these French armies can start to descend on Bailen. All the Swiss and Frenchies. March! March, men, until your feet bleed! And then march some more. Yeah, not looking good though in this line fight here. As you can see, yeah, the, the uh, volunteers, well, they're not necessarily volunteers, the Liel. They're, they're breaking pretty quickly. I don't know if Liel might be something, I don't know. They look fairly well trained. They're not. They look decent. They got flashing uh, little hats as well. A uh, farmhouse has been captured, so uh, I think there's a grenadier unit that's been put in there. Or maybe not. Maybe it was a marine unit. I think it was actually a marine unit. It didn't put in the uh, 
I would have put in that tiny little grenadier unit, then the full unit could fit in there, but maybe he just wants to make sure that... Well, I don't know, that maybe like he can get a full unit inside. The volunteers of Catalonia would have fitted in there as well. Maybe the Marines got some pretty good melee stats. I imagine they will. Oh, French cab coming in. It's not good at all. Dragoons of Pavia broken uh, by French Dragoons here, and they're routing these uh, these Spanish infantry units by their sheer presence. Good to see the French have a decent amount of Dragoons, though. And that one can form square, but it didn't. Just routed. There you go. I think that's the center dealt with, really. And one cab charge from this, uh, against the Spanish just absolutely annihilated them. It looks like we're now going to see a, uh, a bayonet charge onto the Spanish uh, guns here. And they will be easily dealt with, pretty much. I don't know why yeah, the cannons all set up like this. For some strange reason. But there you go. Those guns won't stand. And I think that's the center gone. Apart from round by Len, there's a couple of units here still, but... Like I said, I don't think they're going to be holding for too long. And they're actually already engaged. I think they're trying to fight getting into the house, but I'm really not sure. This is the most intense fight I've ever seen. Oh my gosh! End to end. But there you go. Bayonets coming in here. Trying to deal with these uh, Catalonian troops. They're wannabe redcoats. I don't know what these uh, French troops are firing at. Oh, they might be firing at the uh, Spanish troops over there, I guess, maybe. They might want to try and hold fire, but look at the amount of French still alive. I feel like the Spanish over here didn't do enough damage. I mean, there's a lot of dead bodies, but maybe they're all Spanish. It's quite possible. Uh, I do not know, but yeah, I feel like... They, I feel like they... Uh, maybe they just spammed out a lot of mass themselves. Thinking the Spanish was obviously bring mass. It certainly worked on this flank. On the other flank, uh, certainly my more professional, smaller army seems to have paid off. General died. Uh, that's uh, oh, Quaster, I think, just charged in. What a brave man, you know, charging in, getting himself killed. The Marines here just shooting at any Frenchies that poke their heads outside that building. My reinforcements are now arriving, but it's obviously too little too late. I was just so far away that my troops yeah, just take forever to get over here. And here we, yep, as you can see, you resetting up. I've got some reasonably healthy units. I mean, 66 out of 99 men is not too bad at all. Some are a bit more bad than others. Now they can start their duel with the French. Fire when ready. Oh, Cavs over here that's still alive. Another Dragoon unit still alive and healthy. This building has fallen to and the there enemy. you go. Bailen has fallen to the French. It wasn't going to take too long by the looks of it. And the French yeah, succeeded in... Uh, Taking this town. I mean, the Spanish obviously could retake it, but uh, it's unlikely with the strength of what they have left. I imagine the French are now kind of descending onto my uh, remaining forces and also, I think, the uh, remains of the French... Uh, sorry, the Spanish center. For a uh, Cavalleria de Línea del Rey. Like, uh, I think this is the Cavalry of the King, something like that. And they're going in. Our men are running. They're going to take on the Dragoons. I think they should beat the Dragoons. They are pretty, he like, nasty heavy cab. Both sides might route here, actually. French cab coming to the side. There's another the Chasseur Cheval. And that actually was enough to route the uh, Spanish cab. That is unfortunate. Uh, look at this. Bourbon cavalry going in. Managed to route one of his infantry units. And then my uh, artillery crew, which I had... I baited in a uh, French infantry unit. And it actually managed to take out this French unit here. I couldn't then form square because it's technically still in combat. And my uh, cavalry can just carry on down the line here. We can have a couple more of these units. This, uh, this unit form square and stop my charge there. Yeah, I was quite pleased with that little move actually. I was like, oh, it's actually kind of a good payoff. Maybe my uh, cavalry's kind of getting shot to pieces there. I need to get my infantry closer as these guys are in square. I think my cab might break here almost instantly. Yeah, routing. I mean, as soon as 
It's exhausted or it's tired. But a little win there, and we keep pushing forward. The, spy, uh, the French retreat. But yeah, this has been a pretty fun one. I certainly enjoyed it. I obviously won my little fight, but uh, my team didn't win the, the rest there. So it does look like we're not going to win the battle. But I had a lot of fun. Um, and playing in Spain actually was kind of fun. I don't often like playing as um, like factions like that, like Spain and Austria, that can often get mass routed fairly quickly with a one rogue cavalry charge because your infantry just can't form square. But uh, yeah, I actually, you know, with a build that actually I kind of liked a little bit. Uh, just bringing a lot of more like elite troops can form square I actually kind of did work in my favor I mean I say elite just better trained troops with the Spanish they're not the Walloon guard the Walloon guard I count as elites they're certainly not here they were actually at this battle I don't know why we didn't have them available to us yeah here we go looks like uh Still got some healthy uh, grenadiers here. 73 is not too bad. But yeah, it looks like we're just going to try and keep flanking around. Try and get some angles on these uh, Frenchies down here. Try and do some damage. Prolong our suffering. I think this is all that's left now. The French have just kind of dealt with all the routing like Spanishies over here. So yes, it just seems though I am the only one remaining. Still got my uh, Cadabineers here, which are a very nice unit. Only a 35 man unit. You know what is a small unit? It's an elite unit. Fight on, Spaniards! You must fight for your independence, for your country's sake. Got uh, my general here, Juan. He is going to be trying to take on what well, looks like six or so French units there and just flank around him and shoot him and kill him eventually. But here we go, cab charge going in. The Cadavaneer is going to try and uh, take out these goons. I'd expect them to do so. They got a better charge off and also they're a heavy cab unit. There you go, yeah, easily dealt with that, uh, with that French, that French cab. And there you go, that's always a good sign when your infantry that you're using has run out of ammunition. That is insane. That's actually kind of crazy. I don't think I've had that in a long, long time. And uh, yeah, here we go. Going to go in with the uh, the cavalry. Going for the artillery, I think, is the uh, the main target. Take these bad boys out. And there you go. Getting charged now by French infantry. Well, that's very rude. It's almost asking to be killed. This is French infantry. Oh, in fact, they routed my cab. That's ironic. I, just as I said that, of course. This is heavy cab. How have you been routed by? I mean, they actually did actually break five men left. It shows how good they are. Uh, but yeah, here you go. You can see uh, my general here. Looks like he, uh, he has actually routed two infantry units there, but he's going to get charged here by the uh, by the French. And they'll deal with, deal with him. And with him probably dead or routing, that'll probably be the end of my Spanish forces. We did a decent bayonet charge off on this side here. Routing the Swiss. And going in for a second bayonet charge here with the Grenadiers. And they unfortunately need to route. That's unfortunate. I think they would have gone as he nearly pulled that off with the... Uh, like a couple of shots at the last second that sent this guy down to red. Also, I think my general breaking has obviously broken the back of my remaining forces here. And yeah, that is the Spanish dealt with. And the Battle of Bailen is going to be having a very, very different result as the uh, French are going to win. And that might just accelerate their conquest of the entire Spanish region. But yeah, hopefully I put up the uh, end results for you to have a look at. I actually did... Well, I... No surprise, I did the best out of my team, uh, having uh, actually taken out my uh, opponent. But yeah, it was still a fairly fun one. I had a really good fun um, playing in this one. Even if we did lose, I had good fun. We had a good team. Uh, so well done to everyone that took part. I mean, I 
Also have to say that my teammates did send me some stuff. I had some inventory support, some cav stuff. I did get some support, but um, unfortunately, I couldn't repay the debt and help them out at the very end there. Uh, but this is a good fight. I had a lot of fun. Um, we'll have a quick look at the unit statistics, see what uh, kills we got. I mean, my general actually got the most kills, 158. It was a fairly decent unit. I was actually thinking I should have brought this Legion Extrangera as a... Uh, like, you could also bring it as a just a normal unit. I feel like I should have brought a second one of them because they're pretty damn good. The Grenadiers also did well, 112 kills. No surprise there. They actually got some decent charges off, 97 kills. 92 kills with these uh, Irish um, infantry that I did bring as well. And then, uh, yeah, there are the rest of my kills there. Nothing else too insane, to be honest. And my cab did okay, some of it anyway, but not all of it. I mean, my Hussars, 47. Uh, my, like, Bourbon cab there, 159. Oh, sorry, 159. 59, not 159. Um, and the Carabinier Real got 65 kills. That's like double their amount of men in their units. So, yeah, very, very well done. But there you go, guys. That is the Battle of Byland, today's historical NTW3 battle. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single NTW3 battle or stream. And don't forget to join the Discord if you want to get involved in any NTW3 or any Total War battles. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.